The evolution of humanity from the Nile and the Euphrates developed around the collection of wills, the collaboration of individuals to control the rivers, to control the flooding, to control the, uh, the growing and the distribution and to mitigate against periods of starvation and to make sure that the borders were safe. And this uh, gradually developed into the great Hammurabi co codes and the great codes of Egypt. And then it was synthesized into the codes of Moses, uh, the monotheist who brought down the idea that... F and and synthesized pictogrammic ideas of organization with alphabetical structures of law which would uh, which would use the uh, a divine entity an all-seeing omnipresent entity a which gave a law and which gave the methodology to communicate complex human cooperative skills which take millions of years to develop into a code and a system of law. And this is quintessential in the biblical idea. And this was quintessential in the biblical idea from the beginning. It was intended to unify a broad swath of nations, 12 tribes, no less, 13, the Philistines, the Canaanites, the, na the seven nations, the surrounding nations, the Egyptians, the Assyrians, the conquerors from east and west. The idea was a synthesis. It was, in the first place, built, crafted, edited, and refined 2,500 years ago, stamped and sealed to represent the complexity of identity in the most prolific and developing region on earth. And that is why the first theological statement in the Bible, the very first, even before be fruitful and multiply, is the idea that man and women are created in the image of the divine. So as to the authority of a constitution, authority requires something to be stable over a period of time over generations. It requires the ability to transfer the authority from group to group, from administrator to administrator, from party to party, from ideology to ideology, whilst keeping intact the, the commitment of the body politic from one generation to the other and all rights intact. That requires a super document just like the American Constitution is considered to be a super document which needs to be respected and guarded, and that is why it is guarded with such enthrall by, uh, by the American administration. And so too is our source, the Hebrew and the Israeli and the Jewish and the Judeo-Christian source of authority. And so too the constitutions of Europe and the United States are founded and predicated in the Bible because it was understood that these were the ideas which were synthesized in biblical and prophetic thinking. So that the idea of the, the superiority or the primacy of the individual, the will of the individual, because the individual, man and woman, it is said three times in the Bible before any other idea is developed, that 
the individual is a reflection of the divine, and therefore the will of the individual, the wants, the imagination of the individual is primary for anything which sh sh would emerge from this. Thank <laughs> you.